I used to be on a roller coaster with my kids. I was really finding a lot of dysfunctional people and uh, became afraid of anyone. Every time they were, you know, going crazy. My whole world was crazy and I was going crazy. They've just been through hell. Her dad's an addict, so they had no dad. I know my boys see lots of violence. Lots of yelling, screaming, swearing. Very unsafe. We fought a lot. They just weren't listening, they were doing what they wanted. And I worked, so um, I quit my job. I locked my doors, closed all the windows. It's just like I was just choking on something. It can be very difficult for parents and children to reunite after a child has lived out of the home for a long period of time. Our program tries to help this process so that family reunification can be safe, successful, and lasting. I was desperate, big time desperate, trying to get help back home. And I would grab onto anything I could to save her. I was into a lot of violent relationships with older males and did pretty much anything that they said. I'm glad I'm out of that stuff, but I know I still have a rough journey ahead. And I had this opportunity to come out here and, you know, we have lots of things we have to work on and I thought this would be the best way to try and work them out and deal with them and really try to make a better life for each other. I want them to be a place where they can be safe, loved, and take care of. That's what I came for. She's a teenager, I know that. And I know she needs to be a teenager. So that's what I want to work on. Us getting close together and, and just to better ourselves and just our relationship. I believe in families. I believe that families, given the opportunity, can succeed. They want to be good parents. Children want to be with their families. So this is an excellent opportunity for that to all come together. I didn't know I was going to be coming up here to work on anything. I thought it was fix my daughter. Boy, I was surprised. I had a lot of things to work on. Parents group is every Tuesday morning we get together, we talk about different things, if something is bothering us, you know. It's a good way to hear other people's stories and other people's struggles, to know that you're not alone. Sometimes they just, they just vent and let it all out. And sometimes we just sit there and cry. But it's, it's like a good release. Or if we want to just laugh. You know, joke about it, something and laugh. It's it's wonderful. At first, I was scared. I was scared of the big horses, but it's been really enlightening. When I first came up, they were chasing around the little horses, trying to get them in a in a like a stall, which was too funny. I remember the second time I went out there, I met this horse, Monty. I didn't know what I was supposed to do with him. And Monty is kind of standing there looking at me, waiting for me to do something. And It's a good way to realize that in order to be a healthy, safe family, you need to be in control and the leader to keep everybody safe. There's a lot of things we do together in here. We go for swims and uh, we could go golfing and do the picnics. <laughs> Going and doing family things is, is a good way to release some energy and get to know each other and have fun with everybody. The camp was good because I watched all the kids have so much fun.
not having to worry about a lot of the normal everyday things like paying your rent and groceries and just focusing more on the emotional damage that my kids have endured was really a big point. I don't have to worry about having a job up here or a paying rent up here in order to see her. So it, it does make it a lot better to focus on us. Now it's, that's all I have to think about is making sure that they're safe and that they're doing well and that when you have one less stress not to worry about, you have more energy to work on things that need. To find a place like this that brings a family together and not only just works on the child, but works on the parents as well, is amazing. I learn about myself is to love these kids and take care of them. And became a good parent to them. I had learned who I was. I'm tired of running now. You know, I've been there before. It I've helps been you work on negatives in a positive way. Because I think that's all, what we all need is, is positive influences, positive people to help us grow and learn. I will definitely miss the people, the staff. I think that's the biggest thing I will miss because they're, they're genuine. You know, they're, they're not just working for a paycheck. They care about each and every kid. It helped me a lot. I was so happy with a broken heart and all that. Now, just like my whole heart is open. The frustrating part about abuse and anything is that that's the first thing you feel, you feel alone. And then when you kind of reach out and go, oh wow, you're not alone. You really feel better and you know it's, you're not alone. You know I've been there before. I've been tattered and torn. I found my own little wars. It doesn't matter. I always wanted to